Dino mountain bike race. Did I get myself in over my head? I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful day, beautiful day. Thank you, Mama, for letting Daddy out of the house for a while. We'll go through the data later on Strava, see how we did, do a breakdown analysis for the Dino mountain bike race this month at the Daddy Creek. Did I get myself in over my head? I don't know. <laughs> feel pretty good. It's gonna be fun. I'll keep telling myself that. Get after it. Get to do fun stuff. Adventures. Make your day an adventure. Do something fun. Get out. Train for something. Get something done. It's been a while since I've done three laps. It seemed harder than I remember. Felt good most of the time, but there was times when I was felt like I was wearing out and losing my form. Some of the time it felt fast, other times I feel like I felt slow. So, but overall, it felt good. The races this month were just kind of scary. So, we'll call this the first Dino training ride vlog, whatever we want to call it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I got a little bit of video on the bike. We'll see how it turns out. So I figured I'd just try this and we'll see. We'll keep updated. All right, all right, everybody. Well, we're gonna go through this data from uh, this workout we just did. I'm gonna roll some footage of the ride. It's nothing fancy or anything. I just uh, was trying out a new mount for my camera. And I'm preparing for Dino Series mountain bike race at Potato Creek State Park in Northern Indiana. Uh, last year I competed in this race. Uh, it did well and uh, it was a lot of fun. So we're doing it again this year. Uh, I raced uh, what they call Clydesdale category last year, which is 200 pound riders and up. And it's two laps, which is like 14 miles or something like that. Um, but uh, that race didn't turn out quite how I had envisioned. Um, there was some bad weather and they changed everything up. Uh, maybe I'll do a video about that later. The race is July 23rd, so right around the corner. Uh, I'm just gonna go over my most recent uh, training ride for this that we did. Also doing that same weekend on Saturday, uh, the Xterra Duathlon. Uh, it's basically a triathlon without the swimming, just run, bike, run instead of swim, bike, run. We are focused today on the Dino Series race lap times of 2021 because in 2022 this race was rained out and they did not run it on the same course. So we are taking the data uh, that's posted on their website for 2021. So because we're hoping to be racing the standard single track mountain bike trail at Potato Creek this year. So I'm going off of that. I'm going to put up a screenshot of the results for the sport series or sports category. Uh, which is three laps and I know some of these riders because I rode with them at Melting Man this year and uh, They're strong guys. So these are legit times. <laughs> so for a top 10 uh, Spot uh, it looks like he'd been in an hour 53 um, I'll be racing age category, but um, we're just going off of the top 10 times here because we want to do as best as possible so uh, we want to be competitive, right? That's what uh, that, that's fun. You know, race your own race, but I uh, like to be competitive. So let's just see where we stand. Before I give up my lap times of just what we went through here the other day, and you gotta keep in mind, a lot of these times are going to vary. If you go and you look at, you know, in 2020 and 2019, and all the uh, the times are always different because you don't know what the weather's like. It could be muddy uh, and slow everything down. Uh, it could be really dry and super fast. Uh, so you don't know uh, the conditions change a lot so the, it'll, it'll vary but this gives you an idea all right so we're gonna pull up the data from Strava here and uh, if you like feel free to follow me on Strava at Griff the myth search I'm the only one so if you search up Griff the myth you'll find me um, and you can see all 
the training that I do because um, I only post videos of a few. So um, usually the more exciting ones, the daily stuff, kind of boring maybe. I don't know, whatever. We'll see. But if you guys are interested in that, then let me know. Data from Strava I want to have up for you here. You can see so total distance 30 miles, 30 and a half miles, uh, just short of 1,700 foot gain of elevation. Um, yeah, I was out for two hours, 38 minutes. Um, I don't have a power meter for my bike, uh, so this is just average power off of Strava. I don't know how accurate it is or not, um, but uh, we'll go with it. Maybe someday I'll have a power meter, but I, I usually just go off of perceived effort, so and heart rate. All right, we're gonna go over these lap times um, now. So I'm gonna pull up a screenshot of the data from my cycling computer, um, so you can see. So we got it'll show two, three, and four. Uh, those were the three laps uh, that I did. Uh, first lap was 37 minutes, 43 seconds. Second lap, 37 minutes, 45 seconds, which I'm happy that I see the good consistency there. Just a few seconds um, is good. But then I kind of fell off the wagon on the third lap, 38 minutes, uh, 49 seconds. So total lap time for three laps was an hour 54 uh, and 17 seconds. And uh, if you go off a of 2021, I would have put me at 11th place. So we're knocking on the door. And I feel like from the effort, uh, I could tell you it seemed hard, but it wasn't uh, like blown out by any means. Uh, matter of fact, what we'll show you here is some of my heart rate data. Uh, this is off the Wahoo app from my cycle computer. As you can see here, um, I spent most of the time in uh, the fat burn uh, heart rate zone, 122 to 139, which is where I like to stay. I mean, that's pretty, a pretty, that to me is like a pretty easy effort. I can hold that effort for a long time. As you can see, I did it for an hour, 26 minutes, 19 seconds, and that was 54% of the ride. And I was only in that peak heart rate zone um, there for four minutes, just a little over four minutes. Um, so my average heart rate for the whole ride was uh, is was 135, um, which is good. That's low. I like to keep it. If you go off the methadone method, which we'll talk about in another video someday, um, uh, the formula for my age is like 146. So you want to try to keep your heart rate below 146. So that's what I've been trying to do for the last couple months of my training. I've been focusing really on. Uh, it's like uh, just base training, uh, low heart rate training. And I'm hoping that pays off. I know I've been faster than this 154. Uh, I've kept records before. Um, but uh, it was a little bit muddy. So, but it was really grippy, but I think it was a little slow because of that. And there was some limbs and stuff down and, and stuff like that. But, and a couple of campers, which you might see on this footage here as, uh, as, uh, as I'm talking about this. Um, so that is uh, where we're standing as far as the lap times go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, bit sneak peek into some of my training. Um, we're going to keep doing stuff like this uh, to kind of just show you guys what I do, how I, how I train. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing uh, super in-depth. Um, for me, I find if I get too... I don't know, scheduled about it, regimented, uh, things like that. It's just like, uh, it's too, it, something happens and it doesn't work out and then it kind of falls off the rails. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. If I keep it simple, then it's more likely I'm gonna stick to it and do it. So um, that's the way I've gone about my training, my endurance training, um, because we'll call it that, because that's what this is. It's like I, I've done way more running this summer than I have riding. Um, I just looked at my Strava Daily the other day, and I think it says my zero average, or my weekly average rides are zero right now. <laughs> I don't know if I even got on the bike once uh, uh, in the month of June, but I did a ton of running. So, but that was mainly for preparing for the Six Terra. Um, race um because i think the running was going to be my weakest point because i spent basically the entire summer last year riding my mountain bike if you're competing in this race this year or thinking about competing in this race or even just thinking about competing in any race and you want to see what it's like what kind of training people do uh to do this that's 
what I did when I first started getting interested in wanting to compete uh, in, in some type of endurance sport. I got on YouTube and I searched video after video of local races, these dino races, these Xterra races, anything that was like local around here that I could, you know, do. And I enjoyed watching other people's content um, about this. So I hope that this helps you out. If you are competing in this race or thinking about competing in this race and you're looking for some kind of tips or pointers, I have never actually raced this single track course but I have ridden it a ton. So if you are looking at some kind of information for this single track course at Potato Creek State Park, uh, one of the biggest things that I can give as advice is smooth is fast and fast is smooth. Potato Creek is, in my opinion, a nice flowy trail that you don't have to do a whole lot of braking. I wouldn't even think about braking, call it speed management <laughs> uh, because I think that the key here is to be smooth and fast and carry your momentum as best as possible. Conserve your energy and find that groove because if you can find that groove you can really flow through a lot of these tough sections. If you guys like this leave me some feedback let me know how you feel let me know what you're training for get out there and get after it guys racing is so exciting I, I highly recommend it start a new adventure start your journey to your next level you will get there one step at a time if starting by watching these videos to understand what is all involved in doing this helps you do it this is what I did that's why I'm making these videos is because I had a hard time finding just regular people trying to go from 100 pounds overweight to uh, training for endurance uh, at a local competitor level uh, is so exciting. Uh, get out there, guys. Do stuff. Make changes. Find your adventures. I'm going to keep you posted. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more, guys. Take it easy.